59 minutes, you may never know he's in the stadium. But when he wins the game in the final minute, you know why he carries the label, Game Breaker. They play both offense and defense, and they're the men who charge professional football with electricity. I'm Frank Gifford. It's these men who turn a close game into a rout or turn defeat into victory. These are the Game Breakers. Fourth down and six.
pass was intercepted by Cleveland's free safety, Ross Feetner. And Hayes, number 22, gives new meaning to the word fast. In Dallas' victory over the Browns for the Eastern Championship, Hayes touched the ball only five times and still gained 285 yards, only slightly less than the entire Cleveland team.
and tied. And so it came down to Sammy Ball one last time. The score stood 21-all when he threw the winning pass to Ed Justice. Ball was considered too frail for pro football, but dominated the game for 16 years. This year, Roman Gabriel emerged as an outstanding quarterback with the qualities of a Sammy Ball. Great pride and a sure sense of his own ability. Gabriel imparted this feeling to his teammates on the Los Angeles Rams, and they won more games than they had ever won before. Unlike Barr, who was razor thin, Gabriel is perhaps the strongest of all the quarterbacks, and as such can shake off tacklers like Rag Doll. His style is unique, for he has become the game's first pocket scrambler. Seven Rams is truly the story of Roman Gabriel. Against the Minnesota Vikings, he passed for over 200 yards as the Rams won 39 to 3. Against the Bears, he accounted for three touchdowns and a 28-17 win. But Gabriel's greatest challenge so far occurred in the season's 13th week when the Rams met the Packers in Los Angeles. It was a game the Rams had to win to keep their divisional title hopes alive. The Packers led 24-20 with less than a minute remaining when the Ram defense forced them into a final punting situation as coach George Allen gave last second instruction. the snap of the ball, has the speed of a back, 
and the grasp of a wanton executioner. His mobility is unparalleled, and his will irrefutable. Touchdown. 
down and furthered the belief that Tom Matty is a man who hates to lose. The Green Bay Packers have been a dominant force in football for the last decade. Number 64, Jerry Kramer, has been vital in their ascension to power. Like the others reviewed before him, he's at his best against his toughest opponent, at his best in the crucial game. December 30th, 1962. On a rock-hard field, the Packers met the Giants for the NFL championship. The talk had been of Tittle, Horning, and Taylor. But in the end, the game was won by a guard named Kramer, who kicked three field goals and accounted for a total of ten points. The score was 13-7 Packers late in the game when Kramer kicked one final time. Now nine points ahead, Green Bay made the 16-7 lead stand up. In the 1965 championship, Kramer escorted Paul Horning around left end for a touchdown from which the Browns could not recover.